Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Today we have a 2016 Toyota Highlander. Customer requested a transmission flush, so let's get to it. Now, don't be fooled by this thing here. Uh, this is actually not a drain plug. The way that this works is uh, there's actually a tube inside of there that goes up and it's basically doing from the bottom what a dipstick would do from the top. So uh, this is like an overflow style. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later, but for right now, let's get access to the uh, cooler lines. They're gonna be underneath uh, this skid plate here. So it's a couple hundred 10 millimeter bolts and some uh, push pin connectors. Uh, these are our cooler lines. This has a tow package on it, so it has uh, the one that's in the radiator and it has an auxiliary cooler. Uh, basically, just pick whichever one's easiest to get to. For me, that's going to be this one. Spring clamp. Pull it back. Now you're gonna take a piece of uh, just surrogate, this is a 3 8 fuel line, and you're gonna jam it onto the end of the line. And the reason why we don't really care about which way the flow of transmission fluid is going is because uh, I'm just going to run both of the female sides of the hose down into a bucket. So I'm going to zip tie these together and I'll zip tie them in a, a way to make them both pointing down and uh, then it won't matter which way it goes. So it doesn't really matter how you get to this point and it doesn't really matter how ugly it is. Uh, the main thing is that you want both of the lines going down because uh, fluid's gonna be coming from one direction or the other. So as long as they're both pointing down here, uh, it, it'll, be, it'll be all right. Lug nuts are 21. We're gonna have to take this uh, panel out right here. It's two tens, and then if you kinda pull back a little bit, you push that one in the middle. With that panel off, uh, this is what we're trying to get to here. This is the fill plug. This is a 24 millimeter. So at this point, we've got our uh, two hoses pointing down into our uh, catch pan here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually overfill this transmission by about three or four quarts. Um, so all we have is just a, uh, this is a, both a vacuum and a pump. We only use this thing for world standard transmission flushes. So uh, even though it may appear dirty, uh, what's inside of it is clean world standard fluid. So we'll go ahead and put our fluid into it and we just have it running on, I, I think that's a 3 8 fuel line directly into the fill plug of the transmission. Now they do make adapters that thread into that hole right there that you can do the same thing with. Uh, they actually sell kits that are little pumps that, with a little hose that's threaded into that, uh, but this works just fine. So we bought 12 quarts of fluid. We've overfilled it by four quarts already. We're going to start the car. As it's running, we're gonna add four more quarts and watch the transmission cooler lines. And as soon as they start to spit air out, we're gonna cut the car off and we're gonna to top the rest of the four quarts off So our fluid's coming out, and while that's going, we're going to just be pumping in our new fluid. All 
All right, now it's starting to sputter, so we'll cut the car off. Now we'll go ahead and undo all of our uh, random zip ties and stuff. With our cooler lines hooked back up, now we're going to go ahead and uh, put our last four quarts back in the transmission. This is actually going to be over full again. We are going to correct it uh, here shortly. So. So we got our four quarts in it now. We'll go ahead and put our drain plug back in. Make sure that this washer, or sometimes there's actually a little rubber O-ring, uh, either or, make sure that that's there. So go ahead and get everything cleaned off. We'll get ready to put the uh, covers back on this side. All right, so the last thing that we have to do is bear in mind we're about a quart over full right now. With the scan tool, you're gonna to get into a data list so that you find AT oil temperature one. The range is between 103 and 113 degrees in freedom units. That is between 40 and 45 degrees in Celsius. So we're at that range now. We're gonna go ahead and lift it up and we'll pull the drain plug and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So now we'll go to our uh, our actual fill plug checker thingy here. Uh, this is a six millimeter Allen. We're gonna let this run out until basically it just kinda trickles. All right, so now you can see it, it changed. That means that the fluid level is right at the top of that tube, which is where you want it. Uh, it'll never stop coming out, but that's where you want to go ahead and tighten it back up. Well, that's going to wrap this one up, guys. We went for our road test. Everything was fine. Um, so the million-dollar question is, should you do this? Toyota says that this is a lifetime fluid, which means it's good for the lifetime of the car. But that being said, it's also hydroscopic, which means that it will absorb, absorb moisture. And the problem with absorbing moisture, even just from humidity, is that as that condenses inside and becomes water, the boiling point of water is 212. Transmissions, it's not uncommon for them to get above that. And as that water boils, you start to get shuddering issues. Not to mention just the fact that there's all kind of debris and stuff going around. So to be honest with you, I do my personal cars around 100,000, which means that you might have to do maybe two of them over the course of the lifetime of the car. Um, Another question is how much does it cost and is it worth it for you to do at your house? Maybe. If you have access to a scan tool that will read the, the data that you need, that uh, AT oil temp, and if you have a pump, um, it's probably worth it. Uh, fluid runs about 10-ish dollars a quart. We did 12 quarts, so $120. If you don't have that stuff or you wanna buy it, by the time you buy a pump, a pump's usually about a hundred bucks, and then scan tools, who knows, they, they range all over the place. Probably isn't worth it, unless maybe you have multiple cars that you want to do it on. Uh, the only other thing is that this is, uh, this is a 16 Highlander, but basically almost all Toyotas after about 2005 are going to be this same process. There are a handful of exceptions. Uh, Prius 
has a CVT, but it uses uh, world standard fluid. That's a simple drain and fill, just like a differential or a manual transmission. And uh, Tundras and some Tacomas have a thermostat built on the side of the transmission that uh, it won't open until it's a certain temperature or you can bypass it to make it go open. But uh, most of your stuff is gonna be just like this. So whether it's an 05 Avalon or a 16 Highlander, if it's a U660 transmission or a U250 transmission, uh, something like that is gonna be pretty much this same uh, method that we just did. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully we're a thumbs up from you. Let us know what you think down in the comment section. We have new content for you every single week, so consider subscribing to the channel. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.